A major development to tell you about tonight in the case of a Connecticut mom who's been missing for more than a week now. Her estranged husband, who she had been locked in a bitter divorce with, is in jail along with his girlfriend. But right now, they are not charged with murder. News 4's Wale Ali, you live for us in New Canaan. That's where a vigil for that mom just got underway. Wale. Yeah, Adam, so far we've seen dozens of families coming into the front doors here of St. Mark's Episcopal Church. The organizers here are saying any and all are welcome to come pray for her safe return. Now, while the missing person case continues, we're learning new developments in the criminal side of the investigation. While the search continues for Jennifer Dulos, police arrested her estranged husband, 51-year-old Fotis Dulos, and his girlfriend, 44-year-old Michelle Traconis. Detectives searched through their Farmington home Sunday after making the arrest Saturday night in Avon. The two faced charges of tampering with or fabricating physical evidence and hindering prosecution. But that still doesn't answer the question of where is the 50-year-old mother of five who has now been missing for nine days. So we're just stopping on the motor, see they saw anything suspicious, yeah. out of the ordinary, out of place. Jennifer's black 2017 Chevrolet Suburban was found in Waveney Park after dropping off her kids at school. The search has broadened from New Canaan to homes across the tri-state, including Hartford, Connecticut and Pound Ridge, New York. Detectives have not released details about what they have found and have not confirmed reports. There were traces of blood inside Jennifer's new Canaan home. Jennifer and Fotis have been embroiled in a contentious divorce and child custody case since she left their Farmington home two years ago. Tonight, their children are under the protection of an armed bodyguard while staying with Jennifer's mom in Manhattan. Despite today's arrest, Fotis has denied allegations he was a danger to his family. I mean, this is the sort of event where uh, the pain ripples deeply into the community and creates a tremendous amount of anxiety uh, that, that goes way beyond whether or not people know the family. You just heard from the director here at St. Mark's Episcopal Church. This is at least the second vigil for Jennifer in this community. Meanwhile, police tell us as the criminal investigation progresses, they expect to see even more charges. Fotis and his girlfriend are both expected to be in court in front of a judge tomorrow morning. For now, that's the very latest live in New Canaan tonight. Wale Aliou, News for New York. Wale, thank you. And now